This morning we're heading out in search of a very secretive river bird called the sun bitten. This is its habitat, these fast flowing streams and rivers. They like to hunt over these rocks. And this morning we're heading out with Aventuras on the raft where we're going to go down some grade two to grade three rapids on the river here looking for sun bitterns. There's a forecast of a massive front moving into this area, so we're going to try and beat the rain and get onto the rapids before it really starts coming down. Just this morning, this was a dry creek, and this is typical of the neotropics. This is the dry season in Costa Rica, which means absolutely nothing. This was dry this morning, and look at it right now. We've just come across a sun bitten a little bit further down this river, and we're going to get a look at it right now. This is out of this world. I mean, words cannot describe what we have just found. We have a sun bitten on a nest right here next to this raging torrential creek. There's incredible drama happening right now. Let's get a look. Look at the mother sitting on her nest and the water is rising, but literally by the second. This water was about two feet below the nest. It's now to within 10 centimeters below the nest, threatening to wash away the nest. We don't know how many babies are in there yet, but it looks like she's got at least one baby underneath her on the nest here. One thing I know for sure is sun bitten nests are hardly ever found and I can tell you something, very few people have had the privilege of watching what we are watching right now. Well, look at her, she's, she's standing up. There, there's not one chick, there are two chicks there. Look at that, look how beautifully colored those chicks are. Look at the patternings, kind of like a black and white patterning on the babies. Look at them shuffling for warmth. She's left them, gone up the branch. Looks like she's coming back. Okay, she's coming back. She's trying to keep them warm in this torrential downpour. Oh my gosh, she took a wave right on the chin. That wave nearly took her off. This is perilous stuff here right now. There are logs, there are entire trees coming down the river here. If one tree hits her, she is tickets. This is absolutely tragic. Sun bitterns will hardly ever leave their nest unattended. And it looks like this is exactly what probably the female has just done. She has left and abandoned her chicks because this is getting to threaten her entire life as well. I cannot believe that she has abandoned those two little chicks, but this is nature. She's obviously figuring that next season she might have a chance to rear another clutch of eggs. But what a shame because these chicks, it looks as though they're going to be washed away any second now. It doesn't look promising for them because this river is still rising. We found the adults. They're actually right down at this flooded creek. It's flooded right out and the river's actually broken its banks right onto the open areas here. And this crazy pair of sun bitterns have not abandoned their chicks at all. They're out hunting in this nightmarish weather, trying to sustain these shivering chicks in the nest. One of the parent birds just flew in. It's gonna feed the chicks right now. Look at this, she's at the nest, she's got a minnow in her mouth. What is this bird doing? Looks like it's settling back down on the chicks. There she goes, now she's gonna feed them. Look at this, she's moving. Look at those chicks with their mouths open waiting for the food. There we go, look at this. Yummy, fish for dinner. That's awesome. The parents are still hunting. Look at her nodding her head like that. One of the parent birds is nodding her head. This might be a display. The other bird has flown in. Might be a signal to change over. Other bird's got a minnow as well. Oops, there goes the one parent now. The other one's coming in, feeding. Feeding that same chick, another minnow. 
and the little sibling gets nothing. It's really astounding that here we are in 2010 and so little is known about the breeding habits of this secretive bird. Sun bitterns have only been recorded at the nest maybe a handful of times. What we do know about them is that they'll lay two pinkish buff eggs that'll take approximately 27 to 28 days to incubate until those hatch into these feathered little nestlings. Besides that, we know very, very little else, except that the parents will go foraging for crustaceans, minnows, crabs, anything that they can get their bills on in the shallows and in the fast running water of these creeks and these streams in the neotropics. This has been one of the most spectacular experiences of my birding career, seeing such a rare bird on a nest and this drama unfolding here in the neotropics. Our two guides, Michael and Kope, have just found us this sun bitten and thank you so much guys what an absolute pleasure this was Pura vida. we were really worried about the sun bitten and her chicks we've come back here the next morning and the difference is stark this river is pretty much a little creek again and we're going to try and get a look and see if these sun bitten's have made it through the night this is a much more peaceful scene than yesterday. Look at the parent bird, really peaceful and relaxed, incubating and keeping the fledglings warm. She's standing up, and yes, there are two nestlings side by side, head to toe in the nest. Look at their heads, they look like little baby anacondas. Great to know that this family of sunbittens weathered that treacherous storm.